Hello everyone, welcome back. Medieval Fan number 7 here with more of Medieval Resurrection on the PS5. And we're continuing our trophy hunting journey today. And today we're playing Scurvy Docks, Dragon Island. And then once we've done Dragon Island, we're going to backtrack to Inside the Asylum and Dan's Crypt to explore areas we couldn't explore before to get the Chicken Drum 6 and the Chalice from Inside the Asylum. Uh, this level is probably my favourite one in the game. Like I was saying in the previous part, I just love the music to it. Just everything you have to do in the level, the atmosphere of the level, the enemies in the level just it's just a fun level i just really enjoy it because it's like original to this one like it's it's completely brand new it's not even in the original the original had um the sunken town of melamede with the lake which i love but that's from that game it's like it's special to that game i love the lake but i feel like this one is very special to this one it's completely uh, original and uh it's just a really fun level to play it just always feels it, i just enjoy it every time i play it i just love the music as well and i love how it samples the drunken sailor in this level as well like like, hooray and up she rises, hooray and up she rises, hooray and up she rises early in the morning. That part uh, plays in this well, the, the, the sound of it anyway, not the actual lyrics. But, um, yeah, cleaner water here than it is in the Pills Ancient Dead. And, uh, we'll just jump on into it. This always reminds me of one of my YTPs of Bottom, because I remember I made a little sequence of Richie from Bottom singing <laughs> this level soundtrack. But if you don't know what YTPs are, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. But let's just jump on into Scurvy Docks right now. Hope you enjoy. Ah, there be pirates. <laughs> Smugglers are plenty, but not much in the way of vitamin, vitamin C. C. Yeah, I love this level's music ah, so much. It may not be super loud, just in case of copyright, but actually, it's not very fresh, is it? Oh, well. at, least at least the view is pretty. Uh, like we actually have a gargoyle here as well. There are a few of them at this point in the game, but playground for the dregs of Galamia society. Pirates, smugglers, strumpets, knaves, rascals, blasphemers, finks, loafers, and scallywags of every kind. It's worse when the weekend crowd turns up. Oh, yeah. And the ghost ship docks yep. here, too. Loaded up with Zarek's boiler guards. If I were you, I'd come back in the off-season. You could always head straight off to Dragon Island, but you'll need a boat. Try the harbour master. But he's it's kind of particular. particular and sounds a lot like Kenneth Williams, in my opinion. A lot like him. But, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty interesting that this is where the ghost ship docks. We actually don't know anything about the ghost ship in the original other than it's a ghost ship. So it's pretty interesting how they made a level dedicated to where the ghost ship came from. And yeah, the boiler guards are in this uh, level. There's not that many of them. There's only a few of them at the very start. And the rest of the level, it's just pirates. So we'll just uh, get rid of the boiler guards real quick because they're pretty annoying to deal with but they could just set you on fire oh never mind he got me uh just there uh i might buy a little bit of health from this gargoyle uh not too much i mean it's not, it's not like i can't afford it so i'm just gonna buy some uh there we go uh it rises early in the morning see i mean how it samples out there it's such a good use of it though because it just fits perfectly because it's about the drunken sailors so i mean it's the only thing. It's just such a bop of a soundtrack. Like, I love this level soundtrack. I love its atmosphere. I just remember when I first played it on the PSP, it just felt so good playing a brand spanking new medieval level than I ever played before. Sold out of pirates. Thanks to a shortage in the supply chain, we no longer have stock of these shoulder perching pirate essentials. You will have to make use of other bird types until further notice. Yeah, being the seagulls over here. Uh, so just as well that they're allowing other bird types because we'll be out of luck if we didn't find a parrot here if they only accepted parrots. So he's kind of particular, unless it involves birds. He's a bit lenient then. Also, this is probably the most useless uh, explosive box out of all of the medieval games. Like, there's like no enemies here. I don't know why I would lead any enemies out here to get hit by it. But yeah, this explosive box is probably like the most useless one in the game. <laughs> I prefer those look in the original as well. And just the fact that they don't damage you in the original bit. It's not a big deal, because I don't really use them anyway in this game. But uh yeah, we're down to our last few boiler guards right now. Luckily, they're only in the very side level. Because, yeah, they're quite strong enemies. Uh, like, without um, the Warders brand. But they can still set you fire even with it if you're not quick enough at hitting them. I think that ends up being our boat at the end. But, uh, yeah, let's go talk to the Harbour Master now. Kenneth Williams 2.0 from Carry On. Ring the Guardian of the Bell. Right, what have we here then? You're not one of my regulars, I can see that. A boat? You want a boat? Not possible, I'm afraid. The Seafaring Charter, Chapter 3, Rule 7. Only pirates can rent pirate boats. Got standards to keep up, see? Next. You are a pirate, 
Yes, of course you are. And my name's Jolly Roger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen. Your genuine buccaneer wears tricorn hats and eye patches. They have peg legs and parrots. I know these things. I meet pirates on a professional level every day of the week. Every day of the week. Out of my way, blocking my counter is a serious breach of health and safety, and I've got a ship returning as we speak. This looks like a ship returning. But yeah, basically, we need to find a load of things to convince him that we're a real uh, pirate. And I think he may be. Uh, batting for the uh, same side as I am because he seems to have a wee bit of a crush on Dan when we uh, <laughs> get our gear in order because he's like a dashing one at that when we're a pirate but there we go when they arrived they arrived actually they arrived on that but things they didn't seem like they arrived on that boat but maybe they did I didn't actually notice but uh, yeah we got the Minrin from that boat it wasn't there before but we get the time run later on the time run is literally just for a fish that's in here and we need that to uh, attract the birdie. Be wary of where you take your fish supper. Certain parts of town attract ravenous seagulls. Well, just as well that we're looking for a seagull then. <laughs> because we need it for our shoulder. Even if it does take a shit on it. And one of our life balls is in this level 2. So that's life ball number 6. There we go. I, lo I actually love fighting the skeletons in this game. They're just satisfying to hit, just the little clanking sounds they make when you hit them. Destiny 1 is like the perfect games for Halloween. And I'm currently working on the walkthrough really in isolation as well. I'll be posting this right the month too. I wasn't actually planning on this. I was going to post maybe one, but I couldn't ignore this getting um, a PS5 and PS4 port once I found out. There we go. That's it's opened up now. Uh, actually, no, I'll light this too while it's still on fire. There we are, and I'll switch to the wooden brand now that we don't need it. Weebler. It's so satisfying just instantly killing them as well, just seeing them instantly just like disintegrating. Yeah, every level that we need a spade, there is a spade in it, just in case I guess you didn't pick one up in a previous level. But um, you needed it in Return to Graveyard, so y yeah, you would have found it in a previous level. But. I don't know why they give you another one. Just why not, I guess. But I think this uh, leads down to another ship. Yeah, it does. So uh, I think what, what's in here? A life fountain, I think. Or is the life ball in here? I'm not sure it's in here. Oh, yeah, that's no, a life ball. A uh, life fountain, I mean. There we go. Da, da, da. We have no need for the hammer right now. Let's squish a rat because Dan's a monster. <laughs> Smuggler shit. Oh yeah, we have to. Yeah, but you have to shit down these pillars. I think you call them. I don't actually know what you call them. Uh, but yeah, those are uh, wooden beams. We have to shoot those down so we can get what's sitting on top of them. We have to be pretty quick here before the uh, the fire goes out. Oh shit! I don't think I actually had to move that at all there. My bad. Yeah. I beg your pardon. I may have to make another trip back to the, um, yeah, the fire there. I think you can do all in one go if you're quick enough, but I was not quick enough. <laughs> but usually two trips is enough to this, uh, fireplace. I do love this level soundtrack. It's such a bob. It does remind me so much of back when I started playing the game and, uh, I'd be out in the car the pitch black and I'd have this song my old iPod Nano. Uh, I had the whole soundtrack in my iPod Nano and we'd just listen to it in the car going to Tesco's. Uh, when, mom newly, when my mum newly met our uh, stepdad, it would take us like lifts to Tesco's and it'd be like dark and it'd be raining and I'd just be listening to this in the car. I remember I was obsessed with the soundtrack when I first got the CD. I, I just thought it was a bop. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm always excited when I get stuff. This is like this game's White Chapel to me, or this game's uh, yeah. uh, Asylum Grounds to me, which had Earth. There we go, so we got a life file. 
we got Skull and Crossbones. I, for some reason, didn't actually think we needed that. Because I remember I thought, like, wait, what do we need a Skull and Crossbones for? Because it doesn't alter our appearance, so maybe he won't comment on it. So I actually went to speak to the Harbor Master to see what he says if we don't have a Skull and Crossbones. He's saying, like, like, nice try, but a true pirate has a Skull and Crossbones. I'm like, oh god, yeah, okay, they didn't leave that stone unturned then. Because <laughs> I thought, well, since we don't physically show it on us, I don't think you'll notice, but I think it's because we wear it on our ship, I'm not actually sure. So what have we got so far? We've we've only got the skull and crossbones so far. We get the peg leg from um Oh yeah, we get the pirate hat from here. We bur we dig up the peg leg, that's what we need the spade for. Somewhere like decorating with not a good theme. But yeah, I do love this level. It's a very creative and original one for this game. Uh there we go, we've got the chaos rune now, so we can get the peg leg. She rises her way and up she rises. Here lies many of the most legendary pirates ever to slice the main race, including Red Beard, Tidy Beard, Fake Beard, and Pirate Queen, and Peg Leg Pedro, who teetered and wobbled across the seven seas and feared nothing but woodwork. <laughs> hey! He lived a happy life, he lived his fullest and best life. Did he physically tear across the sea, or was he doing it on a boat? Because imagine if he just walked across the sea. Is he Jesus Christ? <laughs> there it goes. We dig up a peg leg here. I do. I honestly do love this level. It's a really good one. I know I'm saying it a lot, but I just I mean it. To quote the merchant from uh, RE4. I know I say that a lot, but I mean it. There we go. And the chalice is under this one, and very nicely hidden chalice. Uh, there we go. So, we have the Chalice from Haunted Ruins, Ghost Ship, and uh, Inside the Asylum left again. I think that's all the Chalices. So, uh, there we go. And then here is another Life Ball. So, we have two more Life Balls left to get. I think one is from the Hall of Heroes as well. And one is on the Ghost Ship. So, we've got almost everything we need. We just need our uh, parrot imposter. <laughs> our fake parrot. But we need a fish for it. Because we all know seagulls are greedy fuckers so yeah, they'll definitely have no trouble coming down stealing our fish supper. Especially in the cities, they're particularly aggressive. I know in Aberdeen they could be a little shits but up here I think I've been lucky to not encounter one uh, in that uh, sense. Oh god, he almost broke his neck. <laughs> He's like, bitch, I want that. <laughs> there we go. And it just stays in our shoulder now. At least for this level. <laughs> Ghastly. Ghastly creatures. Let me know down below if you guys like seagulls or not. I personally hate seagulls. Uh... Wait, you could take the seagull off? <laughs> I didn't actually know. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put him back on though because we need him. So we have to get our outfit on for the Harbour Master. Aha, my hearties. We've already done Scurvy Dogs. That was actually pretty quick. But there we go, we got the chalice. Are you happy now, Kenneth Williams? <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> he looks shocked. He's like, oh! Uh, <laughs> somebody I can do business with. Business where? You and scurvy sea dog, a black-hearted scourge of the high seas, and if I may be so bold, quite a dashing one at that. Shame <laughs> patch up your eye socket, but I guess that's the latest crazy sea. Thing yeah, don't need an eye patch if you have no eye. Well, I'm sure you have plenty to do. J j just follow me and I'll show you your boat. Thank you, darling. This one? Oh, yes, I'll be taking it now. Bye. No, 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 no. You have this little pissy yacht. Thanks. Oh, yeah. That was well worth the wait, wasn't it? <laughs> the Hall of Heroes. Where they feast and make merry unto... I think it's always random, the uh, yes. lorries when you get the Hall of Heroes. Like what? 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 Um, 
quote you'll get from Tom Baker. You never know what you'll get. <laughs> It'll always be random. Hey, right, what do I get here? Another arrow, by any chance? Uh, oh, no, the magic sword. Well, we won't be needing that because we've got the wooden sprand, but we need it for 100% completion. How you doing? you looking a bit boony. I've told you to stay off the tabs. Are you getting enough chips, man? You look like you could do with a good curry or two. Now, hey, man, have you got yourself a magic sword, Lee? <laughs> you see? Daniel, man. You cannot go into battle against an army of the undead. What's the accent? Is it Mancunian? Is it? He meant a summit. Here, man. Take my man pet. You'll get nowhere without it, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I remember the original um, Dirk Steadfast. Did you say his name was Dirk Steadfast there? I'm not sure. But yeah, the original Dirk Steadfast in Medieval 1. I thought he sounded so much like Barry Chuckle from Chuckle Vision. <laughs> But yeah, this next level, Dragon Island, and originally it was uh, Crystal Caves, which is a level, uh, I think it's um, Mellow Mead, I think, or something, I'm not sure, with rhinotaurs and, and imps. Uh, it's a really nice level with nice music, with a Scottish dragon boss in it, uh, but in this one it's just a Dragon Island, it's not a level at all, it's just a very flamboyant camp dragon, dragon Island. who, Island's his armour belonged to his mother. And actually, it is armor, it's not potion. But, uh, I didn't mean to talk through that, sorry. I'm just going off the assumption you've seen it already, but I, I plan on um, doing a long play without commentary for if you want to watch. But I actually know I've played the game several times before, so I, I, I can get what you were talking over, I think. But, um, yeah, let's beat this bitch in one hit or two, <laughs> because I got one as brand. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we'll have to deal with all the phases of the boss fight of having to hit the floor and let uh, crystals fall on its head. At least I don't think so, anyway. We'll see how it goes. Intimidated, okay. The size of a house. This island is home to the King of Dragons. Despite their generally fearsome reputation, many dragons are in fact sensitive, er er erudite creatures who enjoy nothing more than a good book and a chalice of chamomile tea. But where though, even the most sophisticated serpent can get a little tetchy if disturbed. Yeah, he's a lot more calmer, this one. Previously, like, I'll pluck up both your eyes. Oh, great. I'm just going to give you a good hiding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's Scottish in the original one, no? It's it's cool, though, because, like, the entrance to the dragon boss, this is actually practically identical to the one in the Crystal Caves. But, yeah, it's just a... Uh, he's just a boss instead of um, a level beforehand. Oh, Lord, what do you want? Please don't tell me you're here on a quest. It's incessant. It really is. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> oh, I do so loathe the attentions of the great unwashed. That diction brings tears to one's eyes. Enunciate. Plate armor. Ah, my dragon plate armor. Yes, it's certainly a bold feat. Look at the line, the detail. Très chic, très amusant, très now. The breastplate came from my mother, you know. That woman was a saint. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling you a story about the mother. Don't be so insensitive, Dan. No, 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 no. I feel for you, I really do. I mean to say, that outfit you're sporting is so last century. <laughs> you're asking for a piece of my mother. Do I come round your house to my Pig's knuckle. Pig's knuckle or whatever vile creature you were spawned from? <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, how absolutely vulgar. <laughs> really, this is all I need. I suppose I'll have to grill you alive like the others, but what does one do with them after one's cooked them? I can't abide tinned food. <laughs> tinned food. <laughs> Oh yeah, we will still have to play this fight normal. Well, I'm kind of glad because I don't want to complete cop out of all the boss fights. So yeah, I think you kind of have to memorize uh, which platform triggers which ceiling to collapse to get the hang of this boss fight, but I think I have it memorized. I played it long enough. There we go. And there we go, we just have to get him to come out now. This platform raises up. 
And uh, we might kill him in one go here? Unless it like forces us to do a second wave. Oh, no, no. Uh, or did we kill him? No, we don't kill him now. Yeah, I think we're forced to do a second wave. There we go. We took off so much of his health, though. But it definitely made the uh, actually hitting him part easier. And we have to, like, take cover behind these crystals, otherwise he'll burn us. And also, we have to stay behind these so that he, um... Yeah, there we go. When he flaps his wings, he doesn't, like, blow us off the ledge, because he will. But we're perfectly fine just taking cover behind these crystals. He doesn't bother trying to hit us, so we don't do that. I don't think we kill him yet. Maybe we do. Let's see. Oh, we do. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking, like, wait, it doesn't seem to be initiating another part of the fight. Like, maybe we do kill him now. Yeah, there we go. I was thinking, like, was, yeah, it's been a while since I played it, so, like, <laughs> yeah, so. You know, I'm an intellectual. I have no time for this. Shark Tongue Lizard. He's got the Dragon King. I didn't know he was a Dragon King. I just knew he was a dragon. I'm getting one of my heads. There we go, that's Dragon Island. So now time for a bit of backtracking. We need to get the chicken drumsticks from Dag Dagon's Crypt? <laughs> from Dan's Crypt. Now that we've got the dragon armor. And we also have to get the chalice from inside the asylum. So we'll just take care of that right now. Now that we've got the dragon armor. Dan's Crypt. The best place to go if you're, if you're looking, looking for a dead Dan. Dan. And then we've only got two levels left before Zarek's there. We just got Haunted Ruins, uh, which is basically our home, like where we uh, serve the king. And then um, the ghost ship, which just immediately leads to Zarek Lair. In the original game, there was meant to be a few levels before the ghost ship after Gal the Gal's Gone Lit. And then after the ghost ship, there's maybe a few levels before Zarek's Lair. So even the main game cut out some levels. So this game cut out a lot of levels. <laughs> um, there we go. Now we can get the dragon armor. Can we breathe fire? Why can't we? Oh, we can breathe fire. Never mind. Wait. Why does it not always work? Wait, how... what point is it to breathe fire? Wait, we can breathe fire while we're in. While we're actually in the lava. Let me see if anyone's actually got that trophy because, um. It was like this on the emulator as well, where it doesn't let you breathe fire. Oh, well, people do have it. Oh my god. Why are you so not... Okay, it does let you breathe fire at times. It doesn't always seem to work, though. Oh, you must have to gather lava from... Gather fire from the lava. I guess that makes sense. Oh, I guess that makes sense, because you can just breathe it permanently in Medieval 1. I thought it was just a glitch. Maybe you just don't breathe it constantly. Uh, there we go. Inside the asylum. Yeah, we just go back through again to get the chalice. And... Oh, actually, no, that's somewhere else. This is the one with the mad people in. <laughs> oh god, I literally ran around. Wait. Oh, wait, I actually need to be in lava to set him on fire, so... Yeah, I won't be able to do it here. Um, I wonder if there's any point at this level where we actually will be in lava. In the original we would be, but I think in this one it's just goo. It'll be very situational. I don't know what level we would do that in. I'll think of it. Oh, we might actually be able to do it in this one, because there is a part where we are in lava, and there's zombies across the, uh, across the lava. Yeah, we might be able to do it there. I think it was easier to do in the original because you could just like breathe fire at will. Uh, fire at will, though. Uh, in the original. Yeah, we played this one already. So we're just like whizzing through it again. This time to get the chalice. We'll skip the cutscene with the mayor. Ah, who out? Well, they just played it for fun to slay some zombies again. Never complain about that, it's fun to wreck some zombies. Just gathering them all up in a little bundle. There we go. 
Oh, literally just one survived. <laughs> the final girl or a guy, I don't actually know. But there we go. I always find that so satisfying in well, uh, any medieval game. Where there's a part with like a lot of enemies in one room, just gather them all up in a bundle and just kill them all with one swing. It's just so satisfying. Ah, uh, who -oh. Da, 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 da. It's like a lot more uh, dramatic version of a uh, Scarecrow Fields, but I do I do love it. But uh, yeah, you can definitely tell it's performed with like a uh, an actual orchestra. This one, they did a really good job of the first game's soundtrack. Considering like all they had was like synths and like a computer. I know they had access to a lot less in the original, but I don't think they gave themselves enough credit. It still sounded really good. Like, You literally only need to charge up your hit with the Woden's Brand just to like hit a lot more with one swing because either way it kills enemies with one hit. But it is more effective for killing a group of enemies at once. So it's kind of like this game's bonus weapon, like uh, you know how Resident Evil would have an infinite rock on sure well this game you get a Woden's Brand in. Oh my god, I did not mean, I, I was just thinking like wait I'll miss out on the money here if I drop down that whole bit. It doesn't matter because I have a lot of it right now, which I think I got from uh, playing all the quests at uh, the carnival, Gallimere Plains. It's actually pretty cool because I don't know if you see it here, but I know in the original medieval you see, uh, I think it's the owner of the asylum outside their asylum. Uh, if you get your camera angle positioned to look down a specific hole, but I don't think it's actually in this one. I think it is in the remake though. Not entirely sure. It, it, I think it actually is, yeah. But it's actually on the wiki, like an actual picture of what it is I'm talking about. Like the owner of the asylum. And in the original, I think you actually see like outlines of people who've been impaled and like hung on like torture tables, so st torture tables, those so stretch tables, I don't know what they're called, but uh, it did look a lot more sinister, the original one. I think this one's a lot more slapstick. But this game just took a different take on the series. It wasn't necessarily a bad one. Ah! Oh. We just got one more wave of enemies to defeat down below after this room. And I think we should be able to get the trophy for... Actually, we might be able to get someone with a chicken drumstick and... Because I think there's two enemies uh, across that lava, so we might be able to kill one with fire and uh, turn one into chicken and eat it. So maybe we'll kill two birds with one stone there. Yeah, there'll be a lot of enemies to kill in this area because it's enough in this area to get it to 100% and the child sells very slowly at this level just because there's so many enemies. <laughs> Come on, open up please. Thank you. Lovely. Ah, uh, whoa. And it's weird saving in this mode, actually, because it looks different to, like, saving on the PSP. Like, it's actually weird to think I'm playing it on the PS5 right now rather than the PSP. I just, I can't believe they actually did it. It's so cool that the Betty Boris Rection has a trophy list. Da, 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 da. I wonder if I could have Platinum Medieval 1 in one day, the remake. I, I don't think I did. It took me a couple days. It didn't take me one day, though. It was a uh, pretty tricky Platinum, because you had to do the uh, Lost Souls quests, which definitely took a lot of time. Right, I'll be f uh, oh, I can't get my health to fill. Well, we already got it full. Hopefully that means we can eat a chicken drumstick. Maybe we'll skip that. Because we're just backtracking this time around. Come on, Mr. Axe. Oh, rude. Oh, wait, I forgot we have to wait for him to get his axe stuck before we hit him. Come on, get stuck. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, he just he just broke two of the pillars in a one there. That saved us a lot of time. 
Come on, Mr. Axie. Ah, whoa. There we are. That was even quicker than when we did earlier. I acquire pretty bad axphobia. Alright, we don't need that. Because we have already got a hammer. Is there anybody there? I'll try and only kill one with the dragon armor just so that I can kill the. Oh, there's, wait, there's three of them. I want a proper toilet. Right, I'll kill one with a dragon armor and I'll kill another with a jig drumstick. There we go. Damn the dragon. And. Uh, where's Jake and Drum 6 at? There we go. Oh god, they look big in this uh, game. There we are. <laughs> Dan the Famished. <laughs> just farming a couple of trophies here. I will just kill the last one with the Warden's brand. There we are. Now, all the rest are ones I feel like I'll just earn organically. Someone bring me a dinner. Wait. There we go. Right, damn I've seen some nutters in here, but never have I witnessed such a face. The craze green of the imbecile. And not one shred of sanity left in that terrible bugly eye. Keep away from me. Hmm. Oh. Sorry, pal. No offense, like. No offense, like. Can you help? I shouldn't be in here. I'm not mad. I'm the man. Oh, it's human. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, why am I watching this thing? But I can skip it. We don't need to watch this right now. Like, shop, mer. We've got a platinum ticket. Let's go. <laughs> the Hall of, the Hall of Heroes. Heroes. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, what can I tell you? Your name's not on the list. <laughs> I'm just messing. In you go. In you go. Oh, wait, we, bre we are breathing fire. Unless it's still stored from when we were in the asylum. Oh, it must be. Ah, so it must build up from being in the lava. It doesn't really... Uh, maybe it does mention that about it if I actually bothered to look. But I don't actually know. Or maybe I can only breathe it in short bursts. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Why it doesn't always breathe fire. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems to be constantly breathing it here. Ah, there we go. You must stop stalking me. Yep. <laughs> stop stalking me. Or I will call my cousin. Is a police horse. I think it's the last time we see him. <laughs> Only for fun, of course. <laughs> he doesn't the money need. He just likes the underclasses to trample. <laughs> Perhaps I should try slumming it occasionally. But then I talk to you. You are the yin to my aristocratic yang. You see? <laughs> Enough small talk. A final gift for you. A magic longbow, no less. Of course, and simple person like you should find its raw power very pleasing. Personally, I prefer something in gold. I'll bear that mind. There we are. So the next part should be the final part. Oh, we got through this very quick, actually. I mean, I've gone through this entire walkthrough in one day. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Right, well, uh... I might just save, I don't know why, just so the off chance that the game crashes or I forget, because it, it doesn't auto save, so I will do it manually. But yes, next time we'll be on the Haunted Druid. I actually like that icon. We see those two little, um, Zealot, I guess you could say Zealots, I don't know what you call them, uh, but those cloaked figures uh, inside the Haunted Ruins. I'll save now, and we'll see you in the next part. We played Haunted Ruins. If you'd liked what you've seen here, please give me a subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Please like the video or dislike it if you hate it. Uh, all my social media links are below if you want to check them out. I do have Twitch, I do have Discord, and I do have Twitter. But uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the final part. Take care. Love you so much.